All right, folks, Tommy Coward here on the lawn with you with Growing Green. And I want to show you what uh, cold damage can do to a golf course. We've lost a lot of grass out here due to winter injury this year. And what they've been doing here at Bryan Park in Greensboro, North Carolina, is sprigging this tee. Now, what they've done is actually taken a verticutting machine and... Verticutted some good healthy grass. This is Tiffway 419 Bermuda. They raked it up by hand. Sometimes they'll vacuum it. They spread it out by hand all over this dead tea. And now he is spreading McGill compost over the surface. So about a third of an inch here of good McGill compost with this material handler. Now, at Growing Green, we have an identical machine. It's a Toro, but as you can see, how that compost is coming out there. This is good material. I love this compost. It's full of good uh, microbial substances here. Humic acid, humates, and they will keep this thing watered every ha hour and a half. Really get these these sprigs to take root. Now we've lost probably 30, 40 acres over here on the two golf courses. I don't know if you can see down that fairway there's some dead grass, but for all practical purposes, there is so much dead grass here on the golf course that they experienced this year. But just wanna share that with you. Now we've got a lot of athletic fields that we're gonna be doing this too. I'd say Grown Green, we've probably got about 20 acres of ball fields uh, mainly football fields where there was a lot of traffic lacrosse fields soccer fields that are dead and we'll be sprigging we'll be all right folks Tommy Coward here on the lawn with you here we are at Page High School my alma mater and we are just now beginning to fix some winter injury and winter kill on this stadium field here uh, what happened was uh, we had a cold night. It, they're kind of like pointing at March 29th. The turf began to wake up, and we had a killer frost freeze. And this is about anywhere you see traffic, we lost turf. So we're going to be embarking on a project here to get this back. It's going to consist of sodding this field. Right now, Rodney's poking some holes with an aerator. We'll be fertilizing heavily. We'll be putting down some compost. And then we'll be sodding this with Tipway 419. So bear with us, folks. We've got a lot of work to do, and we're going to document the whole thing. Here comes our irrigation technician as well to get everything ready. All right, folks. So here we are back at Page High School, and we're doing what you really need to do before you embark on a... Bermuda renovation program with all this dead grass. Let's get your irrigation system in order. Rodney's over here adjusting these heads. We've just replaced a few. And we'll get everything ready to go. We need water. Water's going to be the key. All right, folks. Be back and keep going with this project before I get sprayed. Blowing out the lines. See him down there. We're blowing out a line. All right, folks, Tommy Cowd here. Beautiful day, beautiful day, beautiful day here at Page High School. We're still working on these fields, trying to get them back. Died from winter kill, of course. Uh, irrigation, we're raising up these large heads. These are the uh, athletic field, large golf course size heads, 700 series, I believe, of the Toro. But uh, this head is not working. See is like pan around. Damn geese, get out! Um, this area did not get watered all last year because this head was not operating, and we found a connection, a wire connection, where they actually used a ketchup packet to uh, hold that wired connection together. But uh, this is something we've got to deal with. We've got to raise these heads up a bit. They're really low, four to six inches below grade. So we'll be getting those back up and getting this place ready for seating. All right, Tommy Coward signing out for now. We'll see you all in a bit. All right, folks, Tommy Coward here with Growing Green, and we're back here at Page High School. 
and it's the 22nd of June and we're starting to see some great germination of our Bermuda seeding. It's really coming up good here on this one particular field. As you can see, I know there's some crab and some goose, but right here, it's everywhere. The seeding is coming in. We've been keeping it good and wet, as you can see. And these fields have been locked down. You know what I mean? You can't get in unless you know where to go. So this is, uh, it's taken about two weeks for the Bermuda seed to come in. So a little bit more. We'll have to deal with the Berm with the crab and the goose later. But if you can see that, that's Bermuda there, the little guys. If we can get that up and running, we'll be gold. We'll get this thing in by August. Get all this Bermuda up and running. You know, here it is in June, we got through July, we get into August. We could have a playable field here for the kids in August. And uh, we're gonna overseed it with ryegrass anyway, but just wanna show you this. Irrigation's working, the place is all locked down unless you know where to go. I got in over here. I'm not telling anybody where that gate is that's not locked, but uh, pretty pleased to see this. We've had 90 degree days back to back to back for the last two weeks. We're expected to be in the hundreds this week. This is perfect Bermuda growing weather. Couldn't ask for more. So folks, Tommy Coward here on the lawn with Growing Green, and we'll keep you posted as to how this project comes along. All right, folks, have a great one. All right, folks, Tommy Coward here back on the lawn with Growing Green. Another June day in the heat, and we can see what we're doing. We are repairing some really sunken areas here on this practice field, and getting ready to seed it again. Just filling in some holes. It's really rough. They were uh, goose pads. Fill up with water, and the geese would just drill them out. But Chad's taking the last uh, little load over to the stadium field, and we're going to wrap it up over here for the day. All right, folks, be in touch with you. Tommy Cowd here, sign up for Growing Green. All right, folks, Tommy here on the lawn. It's bright and early, July 1st, and we just got a shipment of our sprigs. And I'll show you what we got here. These are celebration sprigs. See this? Look pretty good. Spider loader here. So we're going to be heading to three high schools in the next 24 to 48 hours to get these sprigs down on the ground and get some compost on top of them. All right, folks, big, big, big day for us here at Grown Green. All right, folks, here we are, Western Alamance High School. We're unloading, offloading, getting everything ready to roll. You want to see that right there. These boys are unstrapping it. And this is the field in question. It's a little sick. Died from winter kill. All right, folks, a little bit. Rodney coming in doing a little prep work. And then Scott's coming with the sprigs. Get this rolling here. Prepping it out. Scott's running that first product down. Turf Commander, Chad. That looks good, Scott. Getting it prepped up. That looks great, and it's rolling it flat. All right. Looking good. All right, shaking out some sprigs. Chad, that's a little heavy. He wants it going out like about 30% coverage. And that just flattened that out. Scott's rolling this down. Nice. That's a little heavy. That's all right. All right. Now here we're putting out sprigs. John's spreading these sprigs at about 
700 bushel to the acre. If you can see this rate he's going out with. Nice and light. It'll really spread. But a lot of these sprigs will just drop to the ground and you get root side down just from the weight, putting it out by hand like this. All right, Turf Commander. All right, folks, here we are. We're getting the delivery of the McGill compost. And this stuff is just phenomenal. Very well made from leaves and even some animal, not animal, edible food grade material goes into it. And even some additives like calcium, some you get limestone in it, lots of different good additives. This is a walking floor truck and it just comes right on out the back. It's all forward and then all back or all back like that and then little slots in the floor go forward. There's our driver, hey! All right, folks, we're going to get started over here, next high school football field. All right, talk to you later. All right, folks, here we are spreading the McGill compost. And he's coming out one side again. But this is laying down the compost to go over the top of the sprigs. And that should work really, really well. Holds moisture, all the microorganisms, everything else that this compost has as a beneficial to the turf all right folks here we are Paige and the crew has just finished sprigging the football field try to get a little close-up of the guys down here box of sprigs it's all been prepped out came in with a verticutter really worked up the soil real well this is on a grow-in program. Here it is, July 2nd. And we're getting ready to spread the compost on the top. All right, folks, bear with us. He'll be rolling it next. Whoa! All right, here we go with the McGill compost. Throwing it out. Yeah, baby. Oh, that baby just rolls it out. It smells pretty good. Covering those sprigs about a half inch, that material. Beautiful. It's going to really make for a successful sprigging job here, folks. Right, Scott is spreading the McGill. I'm up here in the stands enjoying the view. Rodney Turf Commander, and that's Keith Hooker with the McGill Compost Company down below. Looking good, people. We'll be getting some on that practice field down there too. Say thank you for your great <laughs> service and your help and your wonderful product. Very I think well. this is going to make it really, really successful. And we thank you for your great service and helping us stage all these offloads and it's really gone well. And now the compost is going out just as planned. And I'm sure we're going to have just full coverage here, beautiful field within a month. This is awesome. All right, folks, Tommy Cowett here on the lawn with Growing Green. We're on an athletic field, and I'm going to show you some work that was done by some volunteers here, coaching staff, maybe even some students. They laid sod and didn't put it down right. They just threw sod in some uh, bare spots where some winter kill was about two pallets of sod and what we're doing is turf commander is ripping it up we're going to create sprigs out of it this was a mistake 
these can become trip hazards for athletes on this field so what we're doing is just that's already tacked down what we're doing is we're going to re-sprig some of this but we're creating sprigs as well and as you can see we're spreading sprigs so john what would you like to say about the work that was done here well the saw i think it was good intentions but this is why we leave it to the professionals <laughs> exactly i mean what a mess and this is a trip hazard it's very dangerous so we'll get this fixed up here and get it smoothed out leveled off planted all right folks all right folks this is a verta cutter jonathan is running along this bermuda field here and what it's doing is cutting the stolens of this bermuda grass you see the little lines after he's made a pass john you want to talk about the benefits of uh verta cutting bermuda grass field basically what we're doing is we're trying to get the runners to go different direction and by cutting it it creates that plant makes that plant want to grow and heal its wounds so it's going to send out new runners and shoots so when we cut it in a crisscross direction it makes that plant get fuller and thicker and send more roots out just like when you bring your shrubs they want to grow they want to replace that growth same thing with Bermuda grass so it's a great practice especially in thin areas where you've got a lot of wear a lot of fat Fresh sprigs. So now what we can do is green Bermuda plants. Awesome. So great way to keep your lawn in shape, keep your athletic field in shape through the summer. Give us a call at 1-866-LAWN-HELP or check us out at growinggreen.com. All right.